the network done on an object is equal to the object's change in kinetic energy. That is the work energy theorem. The network done on an object is equal to the object's change in kinetic energy. That is 5.1. Let's go ahead and take a look at 5.2. Give a reason why the network done on the track while moving on the arrestor bed is negative. Let's go ahead and take a look at our situation. So arrestor beds are used to help moving trucks to come to a stop when their brakes fail. The driver of a 30 kg truck driving down a steep road drives onto an ascending arrestor bed inclined at 28 degrees to the horizontal as shown in the diagram below as we can clearly see there and then the truck with filled brakes passes point a at the beginning of the arrestor bed at a speed of 33 meters per second the average frictional force on the truck is 31,000 newtons while the trucks move up the arrestor bed you know the rotational effects of the wheels 5.2 give a reason why the network done on an object while moving on the arrestor bed is negative so let's go ahead and take a look right when our object is moving up the arrestor bed these are the forces acting on the object we have the weight obviously uh, we can resolve this into the perpendicular component and the parallel component apart from that we have the normal force and lastly we have the frictional force uh, that is acting on the object and then the displacement of the object is up the incline right because our truck is moving up the arrestor bed it is ascending so there we go we have delta x and from these it should be easy to see that f net is in the opposite direction of the displacement so the work done on the object should be negative because f net is in the opposite direction of the displacement f net is down the slope and the displacement is up the slope as you can clearly see we can find f net by adding the frictional force and the parallel component of the weight right and the result of that will be down the slope while the displacement is up the slope so that is why the network done on this track while moving up the arrestor bed is negative let's take a look at 5.3 so 5.3 says that let's use energy principles to calculate the minimum length of the arrestor bed needed to bring the truck to your stop okay so we have three equations we can use if the question says that we must use energy principle we can use work net is equal to the change in the kinetic energy of the object and then we can use the fact that the work done by non-conservative forces is equal to the change in the kinetic energy plus the change in the potential energy and lastly we can use the conservation of mechanical energy the mechanical energy at point a is equal to the mechanical energy at point b this frictional force so our system is not isolated so let us not use the conservation of mechanical energy so we can use the work energy theorem or we can use the work done by non-conservative forces whatever equation you pick between these two will lead to the answer i'm going to use the work net which is equal to the object's change in kinetic energy what you guys can do is to use the work non-conservative forces and we will get to the same answer so the work net which forces are doing work on the object we have work done by the frictional force plus the work done by fg parallel this should be equals to the change in the object's kinetic energy so that is uh, the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy work is just f multiplied by delta x multiplied by cos of theta let's not forget that so the work done by the frictional force is going to be equals to what is the magnitude of the frictional force 31,000 newtons so we have 31,000 multiplied by the displacement that is the length of the arrestor bed so delta x multiplied by cos of 180 right the frictional force will always oppose the direction of the motion and hence the displacement plus fg parallel so what is the mass of 
the truck the mass of the truck is 30,000 kgs you multiply that by 9.8 right and then sine of 28 degrees that is how you find the parallel component let me actually put this here let's see so we have these two right here so this is fg parallel and then delta x and then cos of 180 this will be equals to the change in the kinetic energy so we have a half the mass is 30,000. The final velocity, if it is, it is coming to a rest or to a stop at the top of the arrested bed, should be 0 squared minus a half 30,000. The initial velocity is 33 meters per second, right here. So we have 33 squared. This right here is supposed to be plus and not minus so we're supposed to have plus right there right on the left hand side i'm getting minus 31,000 delta x this is from 31,000 multiplied by cos of 180 so now i just need the work done by the gravitational force the parallel component so i need to multiply these and this so 30,000 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine of 28 multiplied by cos of 180 i'm getting minus 138,024.6395 now i just need to substitute uh, the change in the kinetic energy right so that will be f the mass is 30,000 the final velocity is zero and the initial velocity is 33 so let me just go ahead and substitute and see uh, what that gives me I'm getting minus so this is Delta X here and then I'm getting minus 16 million three hundred and thirty five thousand so on the left hand side i need to add these two numbers so let me go ahead and do that minus 31,000 minus 138 and 24.6395 i'm getting 100 and minus 169 and 24.639 delta x this is equals to minus 16 million three hundred and thirty five thousand let me go ahead and divide both sides by the coefficient of delta x delta x is equals to 96.64 meters so th there we go that is the minimum length of the arrest sub bed needed to bring this truck to a stop